It is that time of year when we should start taking care of the skin on our body if we aren't over the winter, so that when the summer rolls around and we actually want to show our arms, our legs, our decollete, our skin actually looks good. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my body care favorites. These are things that I absolutely love for the body, but then I'm also gonna share with you my protocol for kind of alleviating hyperpigmentation, helping with tone, helping with texture, helping with crepey skin and just overall luminosity of our skin. I'm gonna share my exact protocol with you today. You will see in just a couple of weeks my follow-up video to this. I've been actually working on my decollete now for a few weeks, and I'm gonna share with you my kind of before and afters of my protocol, and we're gonna see how much can actually happen in 30 days. So today, we're gonna to go through everything from my favorite body wash for the skin that actually does some skin care, all the way to a nighttime product that I think everybody should consider having in their body care routine. So if you're new here, my name is Penny. I'm a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. I am super excited that you're here, and I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave. I also hope you'll follow me over on Instagram. I share all kinds of casual skincare content, a little bit of my life, a little bit of lifestyle, and then also I hope you'll check out my blog at pensmithskincare.com. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to share with you is my favorite body wash. I only have one. I am not one of those people that has like 20 body washes. I might have 20 shampoos, but I do not have 20 body washes. And the one that I have been using exclusively is by Touch. So this one is their 15% glycolic acid, 2% salicylic acid. Now this one is actually very, very slightly fragranced and it is a beautiful fragrance. It is a very, very slight citrus fragrance. I find that this leaves my skin feeling very soft, very exfoliated in a super gentle way because it is obviously a wash off product, but it really does help with my keratosis pilaris. Glycolic acid is actually a very small alpha hydroxy acid molecule that not only can help with exfoliation, so help with skin turnover, which helps with tone, helps with texture, helps with hyperpigmentation, but that also helps to signal for new collagen formation. This is definitely my favorite body wash I've been using. I love this whole line from Touch. I discovered it while I was looking for or a new azelaic acid product for the face. And I ended up buying a bunch of stuff just to try out. There's not one thing from this line that I've tested that I hate. I actually like everything I've tested. This is definitely right up there with the azelaic acid product that has also become a favorite. So this is the Touch KP Exfoliating Wash Glycolic Acid 15%, Salicylic Acid 2% absolutely love it. Now I've been using that on my PMD for the body and I was going to include that in this video, but I decided to leave it out because I actually have a couple other things that I use in the shower that are super, super affordable and work really well and they're easy to get. The first one of those things are these gloves that are just generic. They are the kind of gloves that you put on and they're exfoliating. So they're kind of a rough texture. They're fantastic to use with body wash. So you can basically take your body wash, put them on these gloves and wash your body, wash the back of your arms and you get a little bit more of a manual slash chemical exfoliation. I love these. You can find these almost everywhere. You can find them, you know, Walmart or Target. You certainly can get them online. They should not be expensive. I always rinse them out and kind of hang them so that they dry completely, but I love them. The other thing that I've been using is this little guy. This is also generic, but it is a scrub brush type thing that you can almost use for dry brushing, but the way that I use it, it has this handle. The way that I use this is I actually pour some of that glycolic acid wash and I just do the back of my arms with this guy. That's the only place I really use this. And I definitely find that the back of my arms, which typically have a little bit of that keratosis pilaris, those bumps on the back of your arms, you can get them on the top of your thighs sometimes, but I find that by doing this little routine, I don't have those bumps at all. They're completely non-existent. Now this is relatively rough. So this is definitely not something I would just use everywhere, but on the back of my arms, I feel like this really does help with those bumps and it's crazy inexpensive. So those are the kind of in shower things that I am loving that I am using 
all the time. I use them on a very regular basis. Now, when I get out of the shower, depending on whether that's morning or night, if we're gonna do morning skincare, what I wanna do in the morning is one of two things. I'm either going to use alpha hydroxy acids or I'm going to use vitamin C. So for my alpha hydroxy acids, this is a favorite I've talked about for a very long time, but I'm still using it and it is still fantastic. It is still a favorite. And that is my alpha skincare lotion. This is a 12% glycolic acid. So kind of the same thing. This is more glycolic acid, but we kind of, you know, we put this down the drain essentially. So like three times a week, I will use this one on my arms, my legs, and definitely on my decollete right now, because I am working on my decollete, trying to improve the hyperpigmentation and kind of the uh, lines that I have gotten from sleeping on my side. So I'm using this about three times a week. It helps with skin turnover. It definitely helps with that texture, that tone. It definitely can help with crepey skin. And again, glycolic acid can signal for new collagen formation. Just a wonderful thing to have in your body care arsenal. It's huge too, you guys. This is 12 ounces. It's not crazy expensive. It goes forever. So that is my next favorite. On other days, I am using vitamin C. Now, what I'm doing on my decollete, actually, this is kind of a test, is I'm actually using these Neutrogena little capsules. These are actually ascorbic acid 20%, and you can see I'm that far down in them. You get 30 of them in here. I'm using one of these every single morning. I'm kind of doing this as a tester, and the deal is I'm only using that on my decollete because I'm kind of trying to do a little experiment with my decollete I took before pictures, and in a couple weeks, I'm gonna share with you my results over several weeks, and I've really enjoyed this. I have a hard time with L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid on my face. It actually is relatively irritating to my skin and it can cause me to be very red, but I find that it's actually just fine on my decollete, no irritation whatsoever. So I'm doing this in the morning, just one of these capsules just on my decollete. Just know that things that you would use on your face, you can certainly try on your body, especially if it's somewhere like your decollete or you know your shoulders and you're trying to get really great results. If you have things that you're using on your face, bring them all the way down your decollete and use them there as well. So that's one of the things that I am using and it is definitely a favorite. You get 30 of them, so it literally does last you one month and in that respect, it's probably a little bit expensive, but what I like about it is if I skip a couple days or anything like that, the L-ascorbic acid or the ascorbic acid that's in each of these is stable. It is, each one is not exposed to air or anything like that. So I kind of know that, you know, if I miss a day, which happens sometimes, I am not, it's not gonna go bad. It's gonna stay good for me. So I like it for that. The other thing that is vitamin C that I am using so on the days that I don't use the alpha, I'm using another vitamin C product and that is the Amara Beauty. This is a 15% vitamin C. You guys, this is a beautiful body lotion. This is vitamin C, but it also has uh, green tea, it has shea, it has aloe vera, jojoba, it has vitamin B5, which is panthenol which is a humectant, and then it has green tea. So it has all of these antioxidants and humectants and soothing ingredients. It is lovely. I love to use this over this vitamin C. I think it's a fantastic little one-two punch, but if you didn't wanna use a dedicated vitamin C, this would be a great body lotion to get some antioxidant protection into your skin. The skin on the body is no different than the skin on our face as far as we want to do things like antioxidants and, you know, protection, alpha hydroxy acids, retinoids, all of those things that we know work for our face, work for our body too. So the next thing that I do is during the day I use a body sunscreen. So you can use any body sunscreen that you want. One that I've been using that I've really been enjoying is by Aveeno. This one is an SPF of 60. Now I've tried out lots and lots of body sunscreens, of course. I like this one because it's SPF of 60. It's oxybenzone free. It is super sheer and does not feel sticky in any way. It does have a very light fragrance, but the fragrance seems to dissipate and I don't notice it. Not long after I've put it on, I don't notice it. I love that it has a pump. I really, really like Aveeno 
And I love that it is an SPF of 60. So this is my moisturizer on any day that I'm going to be exposing my skin to the sun in any way. Like for example, today I have a sweater on, I'm wearing pants. I didn't use this today. I just didn't. Now I might protect my hands, especially if I go get in the car, that kind of thing. But I did not put this on when I'm fully clothed like this because my sunscreen for my face goes from my face to my collarbone anyway. So this is what I use when I have any skin that is exposed to the sun. On other days when I don't, I love this oldie but goodie, you guys, and that is Moisturel. This one has been part of my skincare for my body for probably 25 years. A dermatologist recommended it to me in my youth. I mean, I was a young person and I have loved it ever since. It's fragrance free and it is just a very, very good occlusive moisturizer that helps to hold water in your skin. It helps to keep your skin hydrated and supple. It's just a beautiful, you know, simple dermatologist recommended Literally, my dermatologist recommended it to me and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. So that's Moisturel. Now, that's the things that I do during the day. And obviously I'm not using every single one of those every single day. Okay, so for nighttime, I am using a retinoid and I've committed to really being dedicated about using a retinoid. Why is it important to use retinoids on your body skin? just the same reasons why they're fantastic for the skin on your face. They are going to help with cellular turnover. They're gonna help with you know healthy cells coming to the surface. They're gonna help with hyperpigmentation. They're going to help with you know texture and tone, all of that. Retinoids are fantastic. The one that I've been using for a long time, but I'm dedicating myself to being very, very diligent to getting this on my body skin every single night is by Replenix. Now this one is really a fantastic body lotion, you guys. It doesn't just have the retinol in it, it has a trans retinol in there. It also has some antioxidants. It has some green tea and it also has ceramides and it has caffeine. Now ceramides are gonna help because they help with your barrier function also. So you're getting not only that barrier function protection, but you're also getting the retinoid, which is fantastic for all of the reasons I just listed. But what I am trying to do is, I'm kind Kind of trying to mimic what I'm doing on my face. I'm doing my retinoids at night and I'm doing my alpha hydroxy acids and antioxidants in the morning. It's a very, very similar routine, honestly. And I am always you know, using sun protection whenever I'm actually going to be exposing my body skin to the sun. Those are kind of the basic tenets of this entire routine. The last thing that I just wanted to share with you is two products that are also favorites that I kind of fit in sporadically now. And the first one is this New Face Gel Primer. The reason why I wanna share this with you guys is because this is hands down one of my favorite body hydrators. Now it's not a moisturizer, it's a hydrator. It's actually meant to be used with their new body device, which is a microcurrent device. And I am rededicated to this device. I can't give you any feedback yet. I started to use this last year and I fell off the wagon. I think I've shared that with you guys. I fell off the wagon. So I picked it back up, but I haven't been using it long enough to really give you any kind of results or anything like that. But I use it with this gel primer. This gel primer leaves your skin so soft and supple and hydrated, it's absolutely glorious. So if you're somebody who uses any kind of a body device that requires conductivity, I highly, highly recommend their gel primer. In fact, I think I said probably six months ago, I would actually just use this as a body humectant, like in the summer when you're really parched, or even in the winter if you feel like your skin is just so, so dry that it can catch on things and stuff like that. This is fantastic. You would want to follow this up because it's, it is a humectant. You'd wanna follow this up with something that would trap it like the Moisturel. So you'd give your skin a little drink of water and then you'd trap it with this. So if dry skin and hydration is an issue for you, something like this would be a great one-two punch to really, really hydrate and lock in that hydration in your body skin. So I wanted to mention that to you guys because it's definitely a favorite body product. Okay, you guys, so those are 
all of the products. I'm gonna go through my protocol really quickly one more time. So I am washing with the Touch glycolic wash, right? And I'm using it with either the gloves, I'm using it with my PMD Clean, or I'm using it with that little brush for my keratosis pilaris. That's my shower routine, period, for my body. Every single morning, I am alternating between my glycolic acid of the Alpha Skincare or my vitamin C from Amara. So I'm alternating essentially these two. The only thing else that I am doing, because I am doing a decollete kind of challenge, I am putting this Neutrogena capsule on before I do either one of those on my decollete only every single morning. Then if I'm gonna be out in the sun, I use my SPF. And if I'm not gonna be out in the sun, I will often use my Moisturel if I feel like I need it. Sometimes the Alpha or the Amara is just enough. So I might add that if I feel like I need it. Then at night, the only thing that I'm using is the Replenix. So it's just one product on my skin at night. I'm not a person that likes to go to bed with a ton of stuff on my skin. I don't want my, you know, I don't wanna to stick to my sheets or anything like that. So I try to put this on like an hour before I go to bed and I love it. I absolutely love this. I've talked about this for a really long time. This is not the first time I've mentioned this. So that's my body care routine. And like I said, I'm gonna check in in just a couple weeks with a video and I'm gonna show you before and afters of my decollete and I've actually circled a couple of kind of more prominent hyperpigmentation spots, age spots that I've noticed to see if my routine helps to lighten them up. Okay, you guys, so that's my entire routine. I hope that you guys found this helpful. I hope that if you are someone who is looking forward to spring and summer as much as I am, that you will start caring for your body's skin now because it definitely takes some time. I mean, you have to remember that we turn over our skin every you know, 30 to 40 days, especially as we get older. So what you want to see in the summer, you need to start working on now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and I will talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.